What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon on Brandon Coin, and my cat's in front of the camera. Move. Okay. Um, well anyway, welcome back and uh, it is July 10th, 2018. I want to keep saying it's 2017. I'm stuck in 2017. I want the crypto market to go back to 2017. Anyway, I have a little bit of rig maintenance, but I'm, I'm swapping some stuff around. Here, let me... Alright, don't mind my messy desk, but um, currently right here, this system has a RX 574 gig and a 1050 Ti. This 1050 Ti is not working. I don't know why. So I'm going to unplug that and uh, try it in a different system here in a minute. But I was more concerned about getting this RX 570 out of here and I want to put it into here. Because this has got a 1050 Ti in it but it's got a lot more room to run a bigger card. Um, I thought I would be able to run this R9 290X in here but the R9 290X is too long and it hits on the metal cage. So in the sake of getting this R9 290 running and also uh, this 570 running at the same time I am going to be swapping this over to here putting that into there because I can't run both of them on there because I only have a 500 watt power supply yes I like Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies so that's the uh, the current situation and uh, see if we can not trip a breaker in this room because that's that's the uh, the only thing I'm actually worried about the R9-290 pulls a lot of power. All right, so now I am powering on the the system that did have the 1050 Ti in it, and it has the RX 574 gigabyte in it. I believe I had the drivers on there. It probably, this is Windows 7 on this machine. This is the machine I did my BIOS modding on and stuff. It always has a problem whenever I swap, swap graphics cards. It never finds it like automatically. Let's, let's see what happens. Let me, I'm gonna put my password in, then I'll, then I'll turn the camera around. Let's we'll see if we can get the hashing away right away. We got all kinds of stuff popping up. Quit that, now let's open up. Awesome Miner, see if it finds the, if it found the graphics card already. That'd be awesome if it does. Don't have to do any extra work. I'm gonna mine Ethereum on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's already installed on here, so I guess at one time or another I had some AMD drivers on here. Let's see what kind of hash rates we're getting. Looks like 15. I think we need to enable the compute mode. Yeah, looks like uh, that's probably not enabled, so let's stop that. We'll open up uh, Radeon settings. Alright, well I did a little bit of research and uh, I figured out why I guess I probably had this card in the system and I pulled it back out. Uh, Windows 7 does not support compute mode so that's why the options not there in the global or the global setting so I'm gonna pull that 570 back out of that system put it back in the system I had it in and I'm gonna take this 1050 right here that I think is dead and try to put it in this other system straight on the motherboard the main power and plug the monitor into it and see if it'll come back to life um, this is the one that had the broken fan blade. This is the one that was running a little bit hot, had a broken fan blade on it, and I probably can't get it warrantied out because of that broken fan blade. This is dead. That don't mean this is my first legitimate card to die ever, I guess. Yeah. So, let's see if we can get it to fire up. Alright, so I threw the little Zotac 1050 in. This is the one that has not been powering up on the other system. Hopefully, it will power up. Okay. Well, the fan's spinning. I got the display plugged in and I don't see any oh we got a display so that's weird does that mean my PCI slot over here is potentially burned out wow this thing is vibrating like crazy where it's got that broken fan blade um, yeah it looks like it's gonna work I'm gonna get this thing fired up and hashing away and um, hmm interesting okay so I have the broken fan blade 1050 Ti hashing away giving 13.3 mega hash on a bone stock no overclock um, so I'm gonna overclock that here in a second and maybe squeak out like 13.8 they're really hard the Zotac ones are really hard to get uh, much over 14 
Um, some people say they have really good luck with it. I don't. And I have the RX570 plugged back into my main system. Not exactly what I wanted because now I don't have anything to put my R9290 in. I'm just happy that that 1050Ti is not burnt up. And um, one of the, uh, the viewers out there and also a fellow member in the Discord, uh, I am Shereels, I believe that's his name. Um, he sent me in a one to eight times adapter. So basically it turns one PCI slot into eight accepted graphics cards. Um, I have this one motherboard over here that only accepts one graphics card. So um, the next build, hopefully in the next couple days, uh, is going to be me converting that from a one graphics card system over to a eight graphics card system. Um, so bear with me on that one. Uh, it's going to be interesting to say the least because it's going to be a hodgepodge of all different kinds of graphics cards. Um, but looking forward to getting it running up and up and running anyway. So um, I'm going to have to cut this episode of The Miner's Life. I don't even know what I'm going to call this because it's just kind of like swapping cards around and like normal maintenance stuff that I deal with trying to, trying to get optimized and not have any cards sitting. Um, but yeah, so... I'll see y'all in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Brandon on Brandon Coin, and uh, adios.